to talk countertops. There are so many options out there. There are a lot of differing price points. So, Mr. Christian Dare is here. <laughs> and he's going to quiz me. He's going to quiz us, I suppose, yeah. on the different stones out there and how much they should cost and what they look like and all of that good yeah. stuff. So I figured it's September. Yeah. Everyone's going back to school. I thought... Tracy should go back to school. Sure. And I don't know if you knew this. I used to be a teacher. I didn't know that. Yeah, I taught in like open media. For real? For real. Yeah. Oh, okay. At Concordia, so I taught for a while. So I yeah. like teaching, so I thought let's bring it back. Yeah. I found these glasses in the back to be more teacher. <laughs> Okay, I can't Can see. see. No, those are prescription. <laughs> I don't know whose these were. I'm sorry. Here we go. These are better. Much better. Much better. <laughs> All right, teacher. Oh, here you go. An apple. Oh, yeah. my favorite. I, I would, want extra points for that. Okay, I'll okay, help you cheat. So I'll help, help you cheat. me. I was that teacher who would do a pop quiz. So oh, we're doing a pop quiz. You're one of those. Well, I did it just to see them sweat. Yeah. And then I said no. I didn't have time to prepare it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I'm gonna sweat now. We have four countertops. Yep. Some are man-made. Some are natural stone. Yep. And we've got labels, but they're all in the wrong spot. Okay. So your job is to put them in the right spot. I mean, you've been on this show for a while. You I should know, know your counters. I should know this stuff, right? You should have learned something by now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So should I go? 30 seconds. Yeah, go. Ah! Okay. Uh, I think that this let's goes Let's sing here. a song for you I about countertops. That, that we love here. countertops. We love countertops. I think that this goes here. We're almost out of time for the countertop it. time. Mm. Not the audience. Yeah. How do you think she did? Do you think it's hundred yeah. percent? You have no faith oh, in me. You no. have no faith in me. So they see the mistakes already. Someone knows, and someone's always also a teacher because she's yes. like, no. <laughs> she's like, she's wrong. Not gonna hold back. So you're close. Okay. You got two out of four. Okay. So fifty percent. Uh, I don't know what is a pass in school anymore. I, I, I feel like maybe everybody you could pass your driver's license now. at fifty percent, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll go through what you got right and why you should pick that as a counter, and then we'll figure out what you got wrong. Okay, sounds so good. So we'll start in this corner. So yes, this is granite. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We have real faith. You know nice. your stones, girl. That's right. So granite, natural stone, lots of different colors, very mm -hmm. popular. It's actually a more affordable way than some other options to get that natural stone look. Okay. You can literally get almost any color you can imagine it, because mm -hmm. it's a natural stone. The only tricky part with granite is, A, you should be making sure every once in a while you reseal it. Yeah. Because it could get exposed to moisture. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean you're doing it once or twice a year. Yeah. Maybe every two years, Good. depending on how much you cook. If you are at my house, it's yes. every 10 to 15 years, because <laughs> literally nothing there happens no in that kitchen. No, used. you make cocktails, that's all that happens there. Um, the only other tricky thing is you can't always get a giant slab, okay. so you may have more seams. Okay. So if you're one Fair. of those people who wants a 20 foot long island, I don't know why you want this. <laughs> a huge family, lots of right? entertaining. You might have seen, so don't opt for that one. Okay, fair enough. Next up. The, bo the bottom line is I was right. You were That's right. That's what I that want everyone to remember. Line. I was right. Now we can move along. <laughs> what else do we have? Again, you are right. Okay. <laughs> Two Some for two. Stuff. The beginning of the show is good for you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is quartzite. Good. So also a natural stone. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit pricier sometimes than granite. But okay. what I love is it will come in a lot of different colors and variations because it's natural. Uh -huh. But it's also non-porous. Okay. Which is nice. So, so you, nothing goes into nothing it. Nothing goes into it. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't crush brand new grapes on it with your feet on top. Probably I don't know not. why you're doing that. But for the most part, it's non-porous, so you won't be worried about staining or sort of like any sort of moisture exposure, which is really great. Good. Um, and it won't chick or crack very easily, so it's oh, great for that. Oh, that's good too. Yeah, so it's great. It's actually a really great option, and I feel there's more and more quartzite being used in counters now. Yes. When it used to be more granite. So, so low maintenance ish, and yeah. does this have the issue with the seams? Like no, not so much. So usually so much. you can get a much bigger quartzite, so you don't necessarily have that. Okay. So now we're gonna get to the part of the show where you didn't do so well. Well, okay. Well, I'm surprised at that. Then I'm very surprised at that. Yeah. So these are actually opposites. Oh. Who would have thunk now this is the marble? I know, and that's the thing. So everyone thinks this marble is like, we're taught our entire lives. Ooh, yeah. it's marble. It's marble. It must be luxurious. Yeah. Which it is. Yes. But there's now lots of options on the market. So this is Sapien Stone. I got it, it at Seattle. It's actually what I use on all the counters in this studio. Oh, no we wonder redid I it. like it so much. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> you get familiarity. Yeah. So but what's great about Sapien Stone is it's uh, natural made. It's basically a porcelain. 
So there's lots of different combinations you can get from it. Yeah. What I also think is really cool is if you actually ever tear it out, uh -huh. you can crush it up because it's recyclable. Yeah. It's made of clay. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest you then try and make your own counter. <laughs> I don't even know if I suggest making your own DIY clay mask. That might be an issue. Maybe not. But that's very cool, though. Yeah, because so if you're thinking about reusing and not sort of putting stuff in the landfill, yeah. And that's what's good also to know. nice because it is man-made. Yeah. It uh, does really well with heat. Good. You get giant slabs of it. Nice. It doesn't stain easily. See, this is my favorite. And I like it. And it's a lot less expensive than marble, which is nice. Right. Right? So this is the marble here. This is the marble. And, you know, she's all right. She's all right. I, I wouldn't I, say I no like if that. someone gave me marble. Yeah. Um, Pricey, but yeah, but So beautiful. the tricky part with marble is it is a natural material. Okay. So there isn't as much variation in colors. It is heat resistant, but... As you know, I'm sure you've seen this on shows every time. It's fussy. Marble and red wine are not fans. Yeah, they're not friends. And I feel like most experts would come to the show, they would dump some red marble on, like, red wine there to show it's how much it do. stains. It's what we do. <laughs> it's like we're an infomercial. You and I are clever. Okay. We know it stains, right? So we're not doing that? We're, well, no, we're not doing that. I do not like to waste my red wine. <laughs> so we are drinking red wine today. Okay. Cheers right? to you, my friend. I mean, you all know that it stains. Why yeah. do we have to show you again? That's right. It stains. Enjoy your wine. So don't put this on your marble. Put it down your gullet. So last quiz. Mm -hmm. It's time to now play The Price is Wrong. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what is the right price for it? So <laughs> we're literally going to figure out what's the most affordable option. So I made it easier for you, like okay. those restaurants where they tell you it's like, $2 size, $3 size, which really means you don't even know what it is. It's just expensive. Yeah, that's true. But I want you to figure out which ones yeah. are the most expensive versus the most affordable. She's bougie. She I'm is bougie. I mean, we love a bougie. Um, I'm going to do this. Yeah, so and she's I'm going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> love that only you and I got this. And look at my favorite for once, I think, is the most affordable. That's what I think. Oh, that's 100%. what I think. It's right? Yes. So you don't I'm know. I'm better while sipping raw wine. Right. I was going to say, maybe the wine helped you. Yes. Like, you don't know your stone, but you know your money, which Thank is more you. important, right? That's right. So yeah, I'll, what is great is time. Sapien Stone, most affordable. It's almost like a third of the price of the marble. So. And it's also and on it our demo slaps. tables. Yeah. Right? It's beautiful.